Hello, Cuba Russia community. Uh, we're excited to share with you the reopening plan. Uh, my name is Carlos Gildemeister, uh, Superintendent of Schools at Cuba Rushford, and to my left. I am Katie Ralston, the 612 lead principal at Cuba Rushford Middle High School and the district lead for reopening plans. So at this time I'd like to thank Ms. Ralston uh, for taking the lead uh, in my absence. Uh, very much appreciated. I also want to thank all the staff and community members uh, who uh, participated uh, in uh, developing the plans as well as Mr. Capaletti who's uh, recording uh, today's video. Thank you. So our reopening plan promises a quality education for every student while adhering to the New York State COVID-19 health and safety guidelines. So consideration for physical safety, uh, social emotional well-being, mental health, and importance of academic engagement of our students, staff, and families was the driving force of this plan. This plan was created as a team effort consisting of parents, uh, school employees, administration, and community members. As we share this plan, if there are any questions that you have, all questions and concerns should be directed to Carlos Gildemeister, Superintendent, or myself, Katie Ralston, District Reopening Lead. For that purpose, we have created a specific email address, opencr at mycrcs.org. Right, since the onset of the COVID-19, every individual has endured trauma the stress and anxiety and health concerns that come with COVID-19 is real. In addition, life continued. The everyday struggles that existed prior to COVID-19 did not go away, rather, they were intensified. So everyone endured an incredible shock to reality with a global pandemic, and individual circumstances may, made the experience difficult for everyone. So for that reason, social emotional well-being of all students and staff will remain the pri primary focus of Cuba Rushford School District. We're in this all together. And with that comes the question, what will school look like at the start of the 2020-2021 school year? After much consideration of the physical, social, emotional, and mental well-being of all of our students and staff, Cuba Rushford has decided on a blended learning model to start the school year. In that, you will see that all of our students have been assigned to color designated cohorts. Students in grades K through 2 are assigned to the grade team and will attend school in person Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Students in grades 3 through 12 have been split into two cohorts, the blue team and the red team. Approximately half of each grade level will be part of the blue team and half of each grade level as part of the red team. Students on the blue team will attend school in person Monday and Tuesday and online Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, while students on the red team will attend school online Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and in person Thursday and Friday. All of our special education students will attend school in person Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, but will be designated to a specific color team cohort. At the same time, we are offering a virtual academy for any student in grade K through 12 who opts for that learning model. Groupings will be assigned specific to household. Once groupings are assigned, they cannot be changed. All students in grades 3 through 12 in the same household will be assigned to the same color team with the exception of our K2 students who are on the gray team. Assigning students in the same household to the same color team ensures that there will be a consistent schedule for all students in that household and that we are able to adhere to the safety guidelines regarding transportation, social distancing, and groupings. The school day will run as normal as it used to, beginning at 8 o'clock a.m and ending at 3 o'clock p.m. for the middle high school, beginning at 8 o'clock a.m. and ending at 2.45 p.m. for Cuba Rushford Elementary students. Grade level specific schedules will not be released until the week of August 24th. Although strict guidelines are in place, we still plan to offer specials such as physical education, art, and music. It's important to know that students will not be assigned personal lockers due to social distancing and disinfecting protocol and transfer of students between classrooms will be minimized during the day with teachers traveling rather than students traveling throughout the day. 
we will offer the option of a self-select self full virtual academy for any student who feels that is the best option for them. This is open to students in grades K through 12. To opt for the full virtual academy, you must have full internet access. Realize that you still need to adhere to the Cuba Rushford Code of Conduct and, and Attendance Policy and that you must engage daily and participate in all online classes and submit all assignments online. It is important to know that choosing the virtual academy means you are committing to 20 weeks of remote learning. We cannot have students switch in and out of that model due to transportation, grouping, and social distancing. If you choose to self-select this model, please email opencr at mycrcs.org or you can call Laura Smith at the middle high school or Megan Beck at the elementary school. We ask that you please make this request by Friday, August 14th. If you do not call or email to make a special request for full virtual learning, all students will be scheduled into their grade level cohort as planned. Special education will continue for all students with IEPs or 504s every day possible, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, in person. Students will be assigned to a color designated team, but will also be in school the additional two in-person days. Transportation will be provided for all special education students who attend an out of district placement and will follow the schedule of the school which they attend. It's important for families to note that all CSE and 504 meetings will be virtual for the 2020-2021 school year. If you have questions specific to your child's special education placement, services, schedule, or transportation, we ask that you please contact Kim Fisher, CSE Chair. The district had the opportunity to purchase uh, infrared uh, temperature scanners, so every student will have his or her temperature scan when boarding a school vehicle. A child with a temperature of 100 degrees or higher will not be allowed on the bus, nor will household members of that child. A student 11 years or younger is required to have a parent or household member over the age of 11 uh, home in case that student does not board the bus. So morning pickup and afternoon drop-offs locations must remain constant. So for proper ventilation, anytime the temperature is above 45 degrees, windows and roof hatch must be open. Due to the New York State mandates related to COVID-19, students will be required to wear a mask for the entire bus ride and remain socially distant. For the health and safety of our, our children, we strongly encourage families to transport their children if possible. If you're willing to transport your child, please contact Transportation Director Mike Sears. Nutrition. With this, regardless of learning model, we still guarantee that lunch and breakfast will be available for every student every day. To maintain social distancing, student groupings will be fed in their classrooms and we will not be using the cafeterias for meals. Students will place meal orders ahead of time and all meals will be pre-packaged. There will be a hand washing schedule in place for all students to wash hands before and after meals. Please know that food sharing of any sort in meals or snacks are not permitted. Meal distribution will continue even on days that students are not in the school building. So all meals will be pre-packaged in disposable containers and will contain the main lunch menu item for that day as well as breakfast for the next day. Packaged meals will be available for delivery service or pickup service. If you opt for delivery service, the meals will be delivered directly to the home of the student. And if you opt for pickup service, that will be available daily from 11 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. in the Cuba Rushford Elementary bus loop as well as the Rushford Fire Hall. We strongly encourage all families in Cuba Rushford to enroll in the online payment system, myschoolbucks.com, to avoid any cash exchange between individuals. Uh, to sign up for meal delivery or to ask questions specific to schoolbucks.com, please contact our cafeteria manager, Alex Leva. So Cuba Rushford has been a one-on-one -on -one district for several years, so every student has access to his or her device, which is not and will not be shared with others. 
All students in grade levels uh, 3 through 12 have student email accounts and they should be checked regularly. All instructional materials will be downloaded at school during in-person uh, learning days, therefore minimizing the need for Wi-Fi outside of the building. So preferred communication forms will be completed by every family and submitted to uh, every principal. Uh, Wi-Fi is available at Cuba Rushford Elementary, the middle school, high school, multiple Cuba uh, and Rushford businesses, Cuba Public Library, the Black Creek Town Hall, the Rushford Fire Hall, the Rushford Library, and the Farmer, Farmersville uh, Fire Hall. So we want to take the time to thank uh, all the, our community partners for their help. The plans regarding health and safety for our reopening were deeply considered in every option. Everything throughout this plan matches the required guidelines by New York State Department of Education and Department of Health. All students, staff, and visitors will have their temperature scanned before entering the bus or the school building, and social distancing will be enforced per state guidelines. All staff and visitors will complete a COVID-19 wellness questionnaire upon entering the building each day, and all students in grades 6 through 12 will self-complete a COVID-19 wellness questionnaire periodically, while parents of elementary students in grades K through 5 will periodically be asked to complete the wellness questionnaire for their elementary child. Masks and face coverings are required at all times in all school buildings, on all school buses, and at all school events. Cuba Rushford will provide a cloth face covering for all students and employees, and additional disposable masks will be available for those who come without a mask on any given day. Written documentation is required for individuals who are not able to wear a mask. It must come from your health care provider, and it must meet one of the CDC guidelines for inability to wear a mask. Opportunities will be given at scheduled designated times throughout the day for mask breaks. It is important that you familiarize yourself with symptoms of the coronavirus and make sure you regularly check with your child in the event of any sort of symptom. If you notice any symptoms, please do not send your child to school and feel free to call your child's school nurse if you'd like to discuss the symptom and what to do next. In the event that someone at school develops a symptom of any sort, we have protocol in place. Someone with a fever who either comes to school with a fever or gets a fever of 100 degrees or higher during the school day, students will go to an isolated area that is supervised, parents will be contacted, and they will be asked to pick up within 30 to 60 minutes of contact. Staff and visitors who come with or develop a fever while they are here will be asked to leave the premises immediately and consult their health care provider. After an absence due to COVID-19 symptoms, individuals must be fever-free for 24 hours without the use of fever-reducing fever medication, and they must have a written note from a health care provider for safe return to school. We've had a lot of questions about what we will do for positive testing, and it is important to know that this is handled on a case-by-case -case basis in close coordination with the County Health Department and County Emergency Manager. Individuals who test positive will not be allowed to return until a negative test result is obtained and no new symptoms arise, until they have quarantined for a minimum of 14 days and they have been fever-free and symptom-free for a consecutive 72 hours. Please know that while we cannot reveal any identifying information in the event of a positive test, we will make sure that we follow all proper protocol to inform all of the necessary individuals to ensure safety for all in the event of a positive test. So with facilities and cleaning, all students will participate in virtual learning on Wednesdays for deep cleaning and disinfecting between in-person learning groups. So the capacity of all classrooms has been calculated at Cuba Rushford with social distancing considered at 15 per classroom. Additional hand washing station has been added to each building. Uh, drinking fountains will be uh, for filling water bottles only. So students should bring water bottles labeled with uh, their name. So water bottles that do not have their name will be thrown away. In addition, restrooms will be limited to one person per facility and will be cleansed frequently throughout the day. A specific checklist will be used daily to address all cleaning requirements 
in all areas and the cleaning maintenance crew will meet weekly to review all updated protocols. All buses will be sanitized after each use and deep clean disinfected once per day. Visitors to the building will be extremely limited. Visitors during meals will not be permitted and all visitors will be health screened before entering the building. Building facilities are currently closed for use by the general public. However, the outdoor areas are available. If you have any questions about facilities and cleaning, please contact Dave Hartman, Director of Maintenance. School specific plans. We know that a lot of families have a lot of questions specific to your child's routine and specific schedules within the school <coughs> building. Specific schedules from Cuba Rushford Elementary and Cuba Rushford Middle High School will be released by August 7th. These plans will include specific details regarding pre-K, BOCES, student groupings, social emotional resources, technology platforms, and building policies. These plans, however, will not include specific schedules. Schedules will be released the week of August 24th. So again, building policies and plans released August 7th, schedules released August 24th. On your screen, you'll see some important contact information to the Allegheny County Health Department as well as the Allegheny County Emergency Manager. We also re-included our reopening uh, email uh, for any type of questions and concerns. Uh, this contact information will also be included in our special edition reopening newsletter. And with that, we thank all of you for your ongoing support, patience, and encouragement as we worked to develop the best plan for our students for the 2020-2021 school year. We are committed to being responsive to change and understand that the plan we just shared with you today is subject to change at any moment as infection rates increase or New York State changes guidelines. Regardless of the situation, Cuba Rushford is committed to being a regional model of excellence and we appreciate your trust and support. We're very excited to have our students and staff back. We will remain nimble through this uh, situation.